Today we're going to have a, a kind of a sit and talk, but we're going to talk about a few things like Fallout 4, why it's so generic. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Microsoft's Game Pass and things like that, I think. Um, recently I went to buy Red Dead Redemption because right, it was recommended by one of the users and I, I brought it. I tried to install it. It installed, but then wouldn't work. I went searching for the reasons why and found out there was a whole host of reasons that it basically involved me stripping down my PC down to its core just to get the damn thing to work. So I thought no and asked for my money back. But, right, from what I've heard it is a good game, but there's no point of having a good game if it isn't going to work. So I brought it off as a bad PC port and left it at that. Instead, I went over to Microsoft and um, signed up for their Game Pass. I paid £1 and I've got three months for free. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. Now, the first thing I did was I looked through what was there, like here. Now, if you see here, I've got Fallout 3 installed. What you might not know is I've been trying to get Fallout 3 to work now for about 10 years. Well, guess what? It works. The Fallout 3 version doesn't crash when you leave the vault. So I can finally play that game again. We Happy Few was another game I wanted to try. Um, I gave that a quick blast and uh, I'm glad I didn't buy it. <laughs> um, then you got Total War Warhammer 3, a game that I want to buy, but I wasn't so sure about because I know what Warhammer 1 was like without Mortal Empires. And uh, that hasn't got Mortal Empires. So now I get to try that as well, again for £1, so that's not too bad. And I've got Fallout 76 here and Medieval Dynasties installed as well, which I haven't tried yet. But if we just look at uh, the various games available on Game Pass. I mean, first of all, you've got all these. I've, been, I've actually got something. They said I've given something. I've been given something. Not too sure what that means. Game Pass, one month. Oh, I guess you can work towards getting Game Pass free for a month. That's all right then. Uh, but anyhow, these are something or other I've won. Three months of Nitro. None of which, I don't play any of these games, to be honest. World of Warship Legend. Oh, I might play that one, though. Sounds good. If they've got World of Warships on it, then that's definitely a plus for me. Anyway, it is um, looking down the list here, and most of them are things I would pick out, to be honest. Some of the ones I would, I already own over on Steam. Uh, there's a lot of these little friendly kiddie games around. I mean, uh, not my sort of thing, but there you go. Loads of Halo. Loads of Halo. Everything Halo exists, ever made is there. One thing I've noticed, though, if I go to here, this one here, see, I can play that, right? But if you want... Uh, is it that one? But if you want to get the uh, the ones with all of the bundles, you know, the DLCs, you have to buy it so that's the difference when you're playing um, game pass you, most of the time you do not get the dlcs only on the much older games do the dlcs get added like on fallout 3 all the dlcs are there on the uh, outer worlds they're not now i've always been a fan of the battlefield series but i haven't played these these ones since uh what was the last one i played i forgot a long time ago i think it's battlefield 2 i think then they started just making the map smaller and taking the epic scale away from it all and it just turned it into another shooter. It just might as well have been hands variety shooters after that. So I stopped playing at that point. But um ooh that Battletech. Now it's a good one. Battletech, right? I think I've got that on Steam, I think it is. Let's have a look at this. Yes, look at that. Now you get the various things, but you've got to buy it. Yeah, but uh, that is a good game. I quite enjoy that one. That's the more serious side of the MechWarrior 4 or MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries game. That's the uh, Times 4 side. You know, the strategic game. But it's very good. Very good indeed. Now let's go down. I think we've already been down. You see, you've got Oblivion because Bethesda's joined them now, remember. So Bethesda's games are all on here or being ported over to here. Uh, you've got an awful lot of games that I've never even heard of. I mean, Mist is an old one, that is Mist. Really old. That used to be, uh, used to be an adventure, old school adventure. Um, 
and we've got Oblivion, or we see, yeah, we've been here. But anyhow, I, I, I'm kind of um, hoping Lionhead uh, Studios Black and White is on here and working because it wasn't working last time I tried. No, no, it's not. That was another buggy game. It was a good game though. Cloud gaming. You can actually buy a pass that allows you to play this game on mobiles on Xboxes. I didn't because I'm only an ex I'm only a PC user, but still. But look at that. Enemy within Fallout 3, Wolfstein. I wanted to play Doom Eternal. Yes now I can. Morrowind. See them all the shooters and cheaper games I'd like. I used to play Quake to Death back in the day. That's Quake One. Uh, I'm playing everything from Quake 1 to Quake 3 and then I stopped. Right, anyhow, we've got Battlefield. So this is the uh, EA Play. So these are the uh, EA ones that you're allowed to play on the uh, Game Pass. Is that the... Uh, well, I think it is. Mass Effect. Legendary Edition. Yay, I can play the Legendary Edition. It's a shame the um, what you own from other stores doesn't apply on here because I've got quite a few DLCs for various things like that. There's quite a few on here and I'm quite pleased with that. I think um I think it I think it's gonna be interesting. It'd be worth sticking with a few for a few months, I think. But uh, yeah, it's loads. I mean Dishonored. I've recently installed that again on Steam. That's an excellent game. Excellent game. And uh, Evil Genius 2. That's another one I wanted to look at. At least it tells me it's there, doesn't it? Let's go down a bit. Do, do, do. I've I've played a few of these Jurassic World ones. They're quite good if you like dinosaurs, to be honest. Yeah, quite good. Shadow War I was not that impressed with. I own that, and it was just a typical console hack and slash thing, and didn't really appeal. Look at that Phoenix points there. That's not very well balanced. It's a good game, but the balance is completely off. I found it very difficult to get anywhere after you playing for ages. So. I've stopped playing that now anyway. It's a shame about the balance though, because it is a good game. Star Wars fans, a couple of uh, we've got Fallen Order and Battlefront 2 there. And yeah, there's, there's, there's a surprising number of games on here, and a few blasts from the past that I wasn't expecting. Um, I mean, I wasn't expecting to get Wasteland on here for starters, but Wasteland is another game that I never really got into, you know what I mean? It kind of like went, yeah, I'm just petered out. Evil Genius. Now I can install it. See, now if I install that, I can see the new one. I got the first one. I like the first one. One of the um, Engineering Guild players named CNC, he used to play it and uh, kind of got hooked on it. There is quite a few things on here to get uh, interesting. But, but please wait. You're paying about, for just a PC, you're paying about £8 a month to play a number of different games and um, that's quite cheap you know it's I think it's the way things are going to go eventually anyway because and um, this subscribe service seems to be all the rage and they are you know they do save a bit of money you can just switch between the two I mean if you think about it though the old style stuff where people like um, well they, they kind of went from from owning something to not owning something and then feeling like the owning something was the way they wanted to go and not owning something they were missing. You know, they were missing out on something. That change over, you know, between you having the item and owning it and you not owning it, right, is what people don't like. But owning it means you can only play the games you own. You have to have the money to buy it or you can't play the game. Subscription means you can play anything that comes out. And you can still own it if you want. So, in a way, the subscription service offers everything they like on the owning side, but at the same side, you get to play loads of games. And one of the things I can tell you, as a 40-plus gaming veteran, you buy an awful lot of crap when you're owning games. It's much better to play the game, find you like it or don't like it, and then decide if you want to buy it. It makes a lot more sense. So we have a look at strategy games. I really don't like the way some of these uh, some of these things are called strategy games, but I know for a fact they aren't. I mean, a lot of them, there's nothing to do with strategy. I mean, Worms, seriously. 
This kind of ruins the categories when they're mixing things that clearly aren't pure strategy games in the strategy game uh, area. I mean, there, Civil Galactic Civilization 3, that is a strategy game. So it's Total War 3, Warhammer, that's a strategy game. Um, Jurassic World Zoo, that's not a strategy game. Okay, let's have a look at... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Role play. This is another one that suffers quite badly. I mean, Phoenix Point is not a role play game. Neva's War, Neva's Wasteland 2. Shadow War, that's just a hack and slash. You know, I mean, so far, I don't know, Bad Tale, yeah. So the first, I don't know about that one, but the first one of that, I know for a fact, that, that isn't. I mean, they're meaningless, are they? It's completely meaningless. I mean, they're most of these ones here. Spore's not a, Spore, if anything, that's more of a strategy game. That's not an RPG. They really need to sort this out. It's like they're dumping it in every category in the hope you might play one. It's like Quake 2. There's a lot of good fun on Quake uh, back in the day. We had a lot of skins like um, Homer Simpson. Every time he jumped, he went, do, 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 do. And if you killed him, he went, oh, my heart, my lungs, my legs. <laughs> that was quite good. Someone actually had a lemming skin that made you about that big. Nobody could really see you, you know. And some people turned up at our land meetings when we was playing it with this lemming, lemming skin. And the lemming skin itself... You know, it was a bit of a cheat, really, because you couldn't see who was shooting at you. One thing I didn't like about Age of Empires was the resources were finite. You couldn't take your time. You had to basically rush the game because your resources run out eventually. And I never liked games that we resources run out. Oh, look at that. Macquarie 5 Mercenaries. That's the other side. That's the, that's the shoot em up version of the Battletech game I was speaking about earlier, right? That is really good as well. If you like MechWarrior 4, right, MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries, MechWarrior 4 Black Knight, that's basically it. It's more of that, but it's a lot better, a lot better. Before we leave, that's a game I had my eye on. I never could get into these ones, the Crusader King and uh, the spin-offs from the same company. The I, I like to understand the game. My mind goes into a kind of logic loop, which is where I see how things work. I couldn't figure that one out. I had farmers killing knights and wondering, how the hell did that happen? It made no sense at all to me. Okay, some of you like sports. Let's have a look at sports games, shall we? Madden's there. Uh, GP, I haven't seen that one. I had the first one of them way back when. Multi GP. It was a really fast game. Really fast. Not many though. A bit short on things on that one. Anyway, anyway, I think uh, overall it's quite good, isn't it? It's quite good. Anyhow, there's loads of stuff here. There's loads of stuff. I think it's going to be fun finding out. And given the fact that I've got a gaming channel, I think it'll come in very useful. See you in the next one.